Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. This week is extremely exciting because I'm getting my final veneers. I currently have my temps in. I've had these since like August, I think 16th or something like that. Um, and I'm getting my finals September 8th. So it wasn't like a whole month and thank God because I'm just like so ready to see my like final teeth. We are going to change some things about the temps. So I'm like kind of nervous and like really excited to see the finals. I'm also going to do like a full video on veneers, including like the cost and the whole process and all of that kind of stuff. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that one. Um, but today we are going to do a little Target trip. It is actually Labor Day. And it's funny because my friends were like, do you have Labor Day off? And I was like, I guess <laughs> like I work for myself so I guess I do I don't have any shoots I don't really have like too much to do I'm actually gonna go to Target to pick up some stuff for a brand sponsorship and it's actually been on my list to go to Target to see their fall stuff and you know just maybe pick up a fall candle or two I don't have too many candles at home I feel like especially in the summer I don't really burn candles as much as the fall so I feel like I've used up like a lot of the good ones that I have. The last couple of candles standing are more like bougie ones and I feel like so greedy. I only want to burn them for special occasions. So anyways, I've heard that Targets are really cheap and so good so I'm excited. I also have not had any pumpkin spice yet because I feel like it's not like officially fall yet and I'm not one to do the whole like early setup for fall and Christmas and everything like that. I think that'll definitely change when I have a house. I have an apartment and I don't really decorate it like too crazy anyways for holidays so maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, I mean it doesn't really feel like fall here in Austin. I do live in Austin if you guys are new. So it is not <laughs> chilly or anything like that which sucks because I'm honestly just ready to dress for some fall weather. But this morning I did my Sammy Clark form workout. I also walked on the treadmill and I also need to start reminding myself to charge my iPad because I really like to see the workout on like a bigger screen instead of my phone. I feel like I can barely see it. Um, but I feel really good today and I think I'm going to have some friends over for Bachelorette. I feel like the dates with Bachelorette are so weird now. Like it's today, tomorrow, then next Tuesday, and then the Tuesday after that. I'm like, what is going on? Um, but I'm honestly most excited for the show after The Bachelorette. It's called Claim to Fame, and it's so good. Um, if you guys have not watched it, I'm pretty sure you can binge it on Hulu just like you can Bachelorette. It's kind of like a game show, but it's honestly so interesting. I'm going to a different Target than I usually go to um, because I live in the east side, so there's one like right down the road in Saltillo. But I've heard that the ones in South Austin are way better and bigger, obviously, because I was gonna go to the one near UT. I was just like checking where all the products I need to get are in stock. And I actually did a pickup order and then one of the things was like canceled or like they didn't have it in stock anymore. So I was like, okay, I'll just go to one of the bigger targets so I can, you know, do the whole fall candle thing. Um, Cause I know their stock will be better in all of those categories. And I am gonna do a little bit of grocery shopping while I'm here. Um, I am feeling really motivated to like eat a little bit cleaner. I mean, last week was pretty good, but this week I wanna do it even better and even cleaner, I guess. Um, but actually I'm getting ice cream with a friend today she asked me and I have been wanting to try this place out it's called Zed's and they do ice cream from like real fruits and like I think they make it there and it's wild so I'm very excited about that we're going today um but after that I'm gonna eat like definitely cleaner I'm very excited that I woke up with motivation but I keep seeing these TikToks that are telling me that you can't rely on motivation like it's all about discipline and I've never really thought about it like that so I'm really taking that to heart and, you know, taking it all in and, you know, trying to channel that energy and really just like discipline myself. I mean, it's way easier said than done, but I'm going to go into Target and let's see what we can get. I'll do a little haul afterwards.
Back home from Target, I feel like I don't want to show you guys everything because most of it is just boring grocery stuff. I don't think I'll be really strict with counting calories or anything, but I did want to share with you guys some like lower calorie snack items. I was binge watching a bunch of like fitness videos and one of the girls said she ate a Rice Krispie treat as like her treat. It's like 90 calories per bar, which honestly, they're probably mini size, but I feel like anything to just give me that little satisfaction of a sweet thing, you know? The other day I made Kodiak pancakes, but I've heard a lot of good things about like the already pre-made like waffles and pancakes. So I wanted to try that out. I got frozen edamame. So I could just like, you know, put my own salt on it and eat it just like a sushi restaurant. When I went to Costco, people were telling me that these were the best pickles ever and pickles are very low calorie. The ones I got were like circles and they were like flat circle pickles, but these are the Spears. And I was shook when I found these because I didn't even know that that brand came in Spears, so I'm very excited about those. These fruit snacks are only 80 calories per pouch. And I, again, I feel like it's something that can like really quickly satisfy my sweetness cravings. I just saw this and I was very curious because it's just says zero sugar in big letters, but it's, um. 35 calories for four pieces. So I wonder if it's like the same texture as a Jolly Rancher. I've gotten these before. These are the Lily's Milk Chocolate Covered Caramels. I love me some chocolate and caramel. Um, not that this is like, I don't know if this is really low calorie, but this is a lot more protein. I have been wanting to try this Bonza pasta stuff. It's made from chickpeas. I also got some canned pumpkin because I saw some like smoothie recipes that they put pumpkin in. And then I also could not pass up apple cider because I feel like this is just very like fall cozy vibes. Okay, so for my candles, I got this one. It's very cute. It's the salted honey one. One thing about me is I don't really like candles that smell so, so like poignant, pungent, pungent. I don't know what the word is. Basically, if it smells like too crazy, I'm like, that will give me a headache. So this one's very like sweet, but like subtle. And I love that they're like soy blend candles. I remember Ryan telling me that I should not be burning Bath and Body Works candles, like no hate on them. Like I do miss the smells, but I feel like um, soy candles are just a little bit better for you and just like the space you're in. But this one is clove and black currant. It's more like a fresh smelling one like a clean smelling one. I feel like I always compare things to that volcano scent. It's not exactly volcano, but it's still that like really nice clean scent with a touch of fall. So I got those two. I love Target candles because they always come in really, really cute jars. Um, and then I just got some stuff for the ad I'm currently procrastinating filming. I also did want to check for some Labor Day sales because I feel like there's some things I Kind of just like want to refresh like i would definitely want a floral amp to put beside the couch we just have a big like basket of blankets and it's just like always so messy and also i feel like i want like one light on but all of these lights are so bright at night so i thought getting a floor lamp would be more like vibey you know um so i want to look for that i was looking for a rug and there were two rugs that I was deciding between, but both of them like did not have amazing reviews. And it sucks because they're really cute. Part of me just wants to like wait to buy a house and then like go ham and get all new furniture. Cause like I also want like a new couch and like a new TV stand, but I honestly don't even know when that will be like when we actually purchase a house. But I will say like I'm keeping my eyes open and stuff like that. Cause I feel like Prices are dropping and all that kind of stuff. We're in this lease till next November, so I'm really not in a big rush. But knowing that, I also don't want to wait like more than a year to get a new rug because I feel like it just like looks a little bit dingy. So I, I still might keep looking. I'm going to put on some music because I feel like that might get myself to like get in the mood to film stuff. So I'm going to film this ad and shower. Also, since Bachelorette is on today and tomorrow, I think me and my friends decided we'll just do like a little get together tomorrow since like it's Labor Day and people just want to get their lives together today, which I totally understand, but I'm still watching it tonight. Okay, I got my ass tone and I'm going to take off my gel. Wish me luck. <laughs> Cause I don't have a drill at home and I feel like they always use drills to make it go really fast. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> 
Okay, so I got most of it off. It is almost five and I have an ice cream date with my friend Shireen. Back from getting ice cream and I got my gel off. I totally forgot that you have to like file the nails before you like soak them. So that wasted like a good 10 minutes, but they are off and I'm about to paint my nails with this color. It is um, Force of Nature. It's the new SE fall line. And I'm very excited about this color. Hopefully it looks good on me. Um, but Bachelor is starting in a few minutes and it's on today and tomorrow. So my friend literally was just texting me. She was like, on the way. And I was like, I think we decided to do tomorrow, but you're welcome to come watch. <laughs> um, but I was literally in panic mode when she sent that. I started throwing everything into my bedroom and the other room um, because it was a mess in here and I was not expecting them to come. So I was like freaked out because obviously I don't want people to see my place the way it was. It was a disaster, but she is just going to come tomorrow and I am going to get to painting. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I worked out this morning again with the form app and I am trying to just like walk a little bit on the treadmill after. So I did that and then I really quickly made some like overnight oats. I mean, they're not really overnight. I feel like if it's like over 30 minutes, like it's good enough for me um, because I'm going to a coffee shop. I'm going to Annie's day and night with my friend Alexis. We're gonna do some like computer work and we're also gonna take some photos i got my birkenstocks on and they are actually so comfortable and lightweight and these are the dupes and i'm like really really shook and they honestly look exactly like the real birkenstocks so i'm very happy that i found this dupe and decided to save my money there um but yeah this is the fit of the day i think i'm gonna do an outfit change into something a little bit more comfy um because the place we're going to is just like an all white coffee shop and so it's perfect for pictures, but I'm wearing my favorite Skims bodysuit. This is, ooh, I don't even know. I'll link it down below. It is so comfortable, and the material is like thin, but it also like snatches you in a weird way. Like, I don't know, I'm not complaining because I love this bodysuit so much. I was actually gonna purchase some more, but I might actually just go to the mall and see what they have, because I have an event on Thursday, and I don't have a dress to wear to it. So I want to look at them all. I also have to return those like Abercrombie cargo pants. Everyone's saying to go down a size and get the mediums. So I might try them on if they have them there, but I don't know if the low rise thing is my cup of tea anyways. Got a matcha with lavender. I got a hibiscus tea and a lemon pound cake. Is it good? Do you like it? Yeah, it's so good. You can try it. No, you're good. You're good. I brought um some overnight oats. Ooh, that's yes. really good. This place is really cute. And the bar. I love the green. Making my returns, but I have to come to Abercrombie and I'm trying on some new pants. I've seen these everywhere. I feel like I should get them. They're very cute. I love like a good slack moment. I'm back home and I'm making myself an early dinner because my friends are gonna come over for The Bachelor. And we're probably just gonna have some snacks, but I wanted to make these cucumber sushi boat things. Um, and I just cooked up shrimp, but I did not cook enough and I don't really wanna cook more. So I'm just gonna stick to what I have. But I also made some ripe rice. It's still cooking. Um, and ripe rice is a uh, rice made from vegetables i believe so i think it just has like more protein i'm not really sure uh, but i realized that my white rice was expired so love that for me i'm gonna cut one of these sides like in half and then we get to scoop it out like a little boat it's very satisfying actually <laughs> okay so 
So we got the plate, cucumbers. I'm gonna stuff some rice in the cucumber. Then we're gonna put the shrimp on top. Honestly, I guess this is a good amount of shrimp just because these cucumber things are so like narrow. Um, so I didn't know how many I could fit like on it. I guess I could honestly just eat it by itself. These are my favorite sushi sauces for like any kind of sushi dish. And yes, I'll probably use them all. Um, this is like a new one that I have found to really, really like. Um, this is called yuzu and it's more of like a citrusy ponzu sauce. And then here is like the eel sauce. And then of course we got like our spicy mayo. Sauce makes everything better. And honestly, I love appetizing. Like, how good does that look already? Probably should have started with the yuzu. Honestly, I don't even know how good this is gonna taste because it's not like sushi rice or anything, but I feel like it'll be okay. I've gotta give it a little bit of sweetness. Should we do a taste test? I hate eating on camera because a lot of my friends say that I look terrifying. Like, I look so mad and angry when I eat. I feel like the sauces definitely make it more like sushi, but it's so good. And I feel like now that I have it in my hand, like it's a good portion. So I'm very happy. Just did a quick rinse for these wine glasses because half of them have not been used for a very long time. So I just wanted to rinse off any dust or anything. And then you could see behind the cookies are over there. I didn't want to put them in yet because my friends are coming very soon and I don't want to have to like wait for people downstairs and then the cookies like over bake um because my place has like a key fob so it's hard to get up here if you don't have a key fob so that definitely is annoying when it comes to having people over because you have to like literally let them in and go all the way down i know like some apartment complexes or like at least the newer ones which honestly this place was brand new last year so i wish they had you know better technology like that but one apartment i went to recently here in austin my friend sent me a QR code that I could literally just scan and I would be let up. And I was like, that is so smart and so convenient because half the time, like my friends know where they're going now. Like obviously the first time if somebody comes here, I don't mind getting them. But like if they know how to get here, it's just so annoying. Especially if I have more than one friend come over and they come at different times and then you have to like go down, come back up and then they text you, they're here and then you have to go back down and come back up. But overall, I'm very, very lucky that this place has like really good security, especially being alone because my last apartment complex was more of like a condo style. So you entered from the outside, like you would just go upstairs, but you're still outside. Then you would just get in your apartment that way. So there wasn't like too much security. I mean, there was like a gate for cars, but that shit was never <laughs> closed and it was pretty much always broken. So I'm very grateful. I just wish the technology was better, you know? It's 2022, we can do better. I finally lit my candle that I got yesterday and it already smells so good. And this is kind of like the setup for tonight. I wish I had even more seating, but we're working with what I have for now. So I have that poof, I believe that's from CB2. And this is a makeshift poof. There's like a bunch of pillows under there. Um, and Sophie's loving all these comfy blanket vibes, aren't you Sophie? You're loving this Sophie. She loves bachelor nights because she gets to see all her aunties and they love her, don't they Sophie? Yes. She loves that ball guys. <laughs> this has been torn apart, but honestly I love playing ball wait sophie i love using this ball to play ball with her because i can like not hold the slobbery part and i can just hold the string and it's dry 
every chance I get. Hey y'all, it is Friday and I feel like the last two days have been just like, you know, nothingness, but also like there's stuff going on and then I just didn't really feel like vlogging and I didn't want to force myself and then I was like, oh, I'll just like not do the week of my life. Then I was thinking like Monday and Tuesday's footage was so fun, so I wanted to like put up that footage and I'm doing fun stuff today, but I still don't really feel like vlogging, like especially when I like miss like two days of the week then I'm like oh well then it's not a week in my life so I'll just stop now but I really really need to like get out of that headspace I don't know if the right word is like imposter syndrome but it's like especially because I've been doing these week in my life vlogs since like the start of the year I just don't want to be like super repetitive doing anything and I don't know I've just been a little bit in my head about my vlogs the past two days but that stops now because i think i told you guys this quote in the beginning of the week well actually i don't really know the exact quote but basically on tiktok somebody was saying something about um like stop waiting for you to get the motivation like you need to discipline yourself so i was thinking about that when i didn't want to vlog today but then i was like wait this is literally my job even though i don't make like that much money on youtube really at all I still like love putting out these YouTube videos and I know come Sunday if I didn't have a YouTube video I would be sad so anyways we're vlogging today we're doing it um, I have some fun things planned starting off with an early morning shoot it's 751 and I'm meeting up with one of my blogger clients her name is Beejal and she shoots a lot of like Indian and Indo Western I honestly just heard of that word it's basically like Indian like maybe uh, what are these blouses with like nice slack pants like kind of like American and Indian like mixed together I've never heard of that until I started working with her but anyways her outfits are always so beautiful so we're actually here on UT's campus and I came here the other day for a grad shoot and it was like the most busy I've seen it and I shot here before COVID so I'm like damn like people are really back and going to class and I'm just like this is not just a photo location anymore for me um because I love to shoot here there's so many different locations in one spot so it's great for not only grads but like high school seniors couples bloggers so we're gonna shoot today and then later I'm going to the grand opening of a new summer moon location Ryan's gonna be very jealous <laughs> um and also Ryan's gonna visit soon I think in like two weeks or something and I've already made plans to visit him in October and then in November I'm gonna go home and in December so we got all of our plans to see each other I feel like every day I'm realizing like one more thing that I'm like ooh living alone's kind of nice <laughs> but I'm gonna go meet her in front of Littlefield Fountain and I'm gonna spray bug spray before I get started because the mosquitoes out here are something else set this up. I'm trying to be more active on my TikTok on my photo account. <laughs> got done with the shoe I'm home now I'm going to go in and shower and then get ready for the summer moon grand opening but the shoot went really really well the photos look so good and I also filmed like a little like come to the shoot with me for my tiktok because I made a photography tiktok of course one more thing I have to like think about because I barely really post on my own photography instagram but like I know that so many people follow me and find me through my Instagram and I could only imagine like what TikTok could do for me so I'm trying it out I'll report back if it you know does well if you guys want to follow it and support it will be right here it is just Sonali Productions I recently saw a TikTok saying that like longer form like video content is doing really well and just like original audio so 
I'm testing that out and I just looked at my TikTok that I posted yesterday. It was like going through my old photography photos and it was like at least like around two minutes and it's actually almost at 1000 views which is really good for that account because I barely have any followers so very happy about that guys my sister just texted me and she was like I just got like a new iPhone and I was like oh like why she was like oh I wanted a better camera and blah blah and I was like oh, okay like what phone did you get and she was like the 14 and I was like do you mean the 13 and she was like no I pre-ordered it like I can pick it up next week and I was like screenshot like you're, you're lying and she screenshotted it and I missed the keynote yesterday what like what I never miss an Apple keynote I'm like Apple's biggest fan I love my Apple products I'm always so interested in seeing what the new iPhone is like it is like the best day when I get to find out what it is and I'm so shook like what the frick was I doing yesterday that I didn't even see any of that on like my feed on any social media I'm so I'm so shook anyways I just went straight to YouTube because we are Googling it and we're gonna find out what is different. I have the 13 Pro right now and I feel like I probably will get the new iPhone just because I literally take all of my like videos and photos and everything for work with my iPhone. So I am most likely gonna get it, but let me update you guys on like what's different and everything. Looking at the most impressive iPhone camera system yet has a 48 megapixel quad pixel sensor allowing gimbal like stabilization for all your action scenes something i love to do is to compare like the specs so we'll choose this one and then that one and i guess we'll just keep the other one okie dokie same kind of like width and everything wait what the heck is the plus and what's the Pro Max? Okay, maybe I need to do a little bit more research. I do love this, like, purple color. I wish that was on the Pro Max. Because I'll probably end up getting that, if anything. Um, but, okay, here's the camera stuff. The one I have now is 12 megapixels. And this one is 48 megapixels. Um, the zooms are way better on the new one. And also the low light is a lot better. You can go down to camera and like really see all the specifics of everything. They said the selfie camera was gonna be a lot more sharp and also the wide angle on the back lens, which I do love to use that one. So that is very exciting. And then also some new updates to the video camera. Um, it's gonna be like a lot more stabilized. The new front camera has a little bit of a lower aperture. So that lets in a little bit more light and also blurs the background more. Didn't purchase it yet, but I wanted to do a little bit more research before I actually pressed the button. Also, cause like the delivery said it would only ship to my house and I can't even like pick it up. There's no option to pick it up anywhere here, which is so weird cause usually there is. Um, so I don't know about that. Cause my sister said she was gonna be able to pick it up next week. And I'm like, well, that would have been really nice and cool. But anyways, um, so I was gonna go to the summer moon thing with my friend, but she just said she wasn't able to. And then I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll just like skip it. Cause like, obviously I don't wanna go alone, but I did promise the brand I would go. And honestly, like when it comes to these events, sometimes like it's just good to show face and obviously i really like summer moon coffee so i'm guessing it's gonna be on the house um and it's in bee caves but i just mapped it and it says it's only a 15 minute drive so that's not bad at all so i think i'm gonna go and put on a cute outfit maybe I'll listen to a podcast on the way there i don't have to stay for like too long i'm not really sure who's gonna be there or like who got invited or whatever um but last night I went to the event alone, but like I knew like my influencer Austin friends would be there. But I feel like since this is more of like a coffee shop grand opening, I don't know a lot of the food bloggers. And also it's funny because sometimes whenever I do get invited to like media dines and like food blogger events, I don't recognize anyone because they don't post their faces in anything because it's just the food. So I'm like, oh, like, are you an influencer? <laughs> just like trying to make conversation and meet people. And then it always ends up being like a really big food account that I literally follow. It's funny that it works out that way. So maybe I'll see some food bloggers. But anyways, I'm going to go to the event, push myself, and we're going to do it. Even if it's just for like 10, 15 minutes getting the free coffee, 
let's do it. I kind of like did a quick slick back pony. My hair is just dirty. I didn't have to use any products, which was honestly great. But I do want to wash my hair today, I think. Then I put on a quick face of makeup. And this is the fit for the summer moon opening. I don't know if I have to like dress really nice, but it's okay. I'm just gonna go on this. Got my set active leggings on. I usually get the sculpt flex, but this Black Friday, I'm definitely going to get a lot of the Lux form. I feel like their Black Friday sale is like so good, so I go crazy. And I feel like that's the one time of year I buy from Set Active. And then I have my Aloe sweatshirt on, and then some New Balances. Just pulled up, and I swear I've been to this Summer Moon like multiple times. So I'm a little confused, because I'm pretty sure they said this was a grand opening. And I like made sure it was the right address even though they didn't really say an address but the only bee caves location that they have on their site is this one so hopefully i'm at the right one but i'm not really sure i guess we'll find out <laughs> keep you guys updated update we got the goods but i drove to the wrong location because they sent me a DM inviting me to this event. The grand opening is tomorrow, but I guess today was like the influencer event. But tell me why they didn't send me an address. Like, was I just supposed to like know where it was? Like I went on their website to make sure that this was like the only BKF's location. And um, yeah, I, I like, Googled it, I mapped it, and this was the only Bee Caves location, and obviously since it's new, it probably doesn't pop up on the maps, but like, why didn't you give me the address if it doesn't pop up on the maps? Like, I'm so confused. So basically, I walked in there, and I was like, hey, like, is there another Bee Caves location? Well, at first, I saw the open sign was off, so I was like, okay, maybe this is the influencer event, and like, obviously, I don't know anyone, um, but then there was just like so many people working on their computers like college kids and I was like okay like is there is there another like BK location and um yeah so they gave me the address it's like 22 minutes away and it's already like 11 so I was like I'll probably just not go because it ends at 12 and I could make it for 30 minutes but like do I really want to like spend another 22 minutes driving there when they didn't even give me the address you know <sighs> anyways so I was just like, oh, I'll just like get something here because I was really excited to get some summer moon. I haven't had it in so long because this coffee is so good. And like, I don't drink coffee usually, but like, as you can tell, it's like a lot of milk and cream and sugar and all that. Like, it's a very like sweet milkshakey taste. And I love that, which reminds me, I need to take my lactate pills before I forget. Um, but yeah, that was kind of sad i guess because i was excited to go but whatever i think i've been like really not hard on myself but okay i i don't know how to explain this the right way but i was telling ryan this the other day and i feel like when plans like get switched around or like you know my appointments get canceled literally two appointments got canceled this week and it's happened before where it, like honestly just like it doesn't ruin my whole day but it kind of just makes me feel like all jumbled in my head and I feel like I can't even get anything done for the rest of the day because I was like that had to happen for me to like be home at this time it's so weird maybe I'm like so much of a planner that it really 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 messes my head up and it sucks it really does so like whenever plans like this don't go the way it's supposed to I'm just like okay well like now what which obviously I have the rest of the day I really don't know how to explain it <laughs> I really, really want to start living with, like, less expectations for everything, honestly. Like, that kind of sounds, like, sad, but also I might just be happier that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if I go into something with no expectations, it could just be so much better than, well, not that I expected because I don't have any expectations. I feel like this is very dramatic for just, like, a little influencer coffee event, but I've been really feeling this way about, like, a lot of things, and I'm just like, why am I feeling this way? I don't want to feel this way, but, like, something in me is just, like, so messed up when, like, my plans get messed up. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, a brand just emailed me that I need to do some edits by end of day and they want me to like replace a clip with some other clip that I don't think even exists like they want me to like put more of 
their product in and I like shot on location so I'm just gonna like pull something out of thin air and hope it exists and hope it's fine um and sometimes like I really just love to work in my car and just like vibe out in my car because I'm like constrained to this one little spot and I feel like I actually get things done like I can kind of concentrate um so I think I'm gonna pull into some shade and knock this out really quick I also don't think I told you guys that yesterday the appointment that got canceled was literally getting the final veneers um yeah so I was supposed to go in at 12 originally and then they were like oh like our machine's not working can you come in at one like it's getting fixed or something like that I was like yeah sure I'll come in at one they knew I had an event to go to um later that night and so I told them about it so they were gonna order me some reverse numbing cream because I was just worried about being swollen there so pushing it to one was not ideal but I was like okay I'll take it and then they called me back later and then they were like hey we might just need to reschedule you we haven't even gotten to our first cl like client of the day and I was like okay like whatever that worked out because honestly I didn't want to be like super swollen or just in any kind of pain because when I got my temporary veneers it hurt and I actually watched a veneer video yesterday that said the finals hurt even more than the temp so I was like amazing <laughs> so I didn't want to be in pain for this event and it turned out that this event was huge like I have been going to like a couple influencer events and they're more like intimate I would say like I mean they still have like a good bit of influencers there but this one was like a party and it was for Aldo and I'll like kind of like post some footage on the screen right now but I was starstruck because I saw so many like famous people I mean there was a, like a lot of people from Netflix shows I'm friends with Kiki from 20 somethings in Austin um, he was there, but then there was a lot of other people from, I guess, The Circle and The Ultimatum, which I only watched The Circle season one, so I only found out about those Netflix cast members being there and, like, who they were after the event. If you guys have been watching YouTube for a long time, you know who Andrea Russet is, and she was there, and I was like, this is crazy. I said hi to her, because I was like, I've just been watching you, like, for so long. And then Lauren Zima was there guys I was like freaking out I was telling all my friends and they're like who is that and I'm like how do you not know this she is dating Chris Harrison aka like the guy that made Bachelor famous and then also she's an entertainment host I can't remember what channel it's on exactly but I think it's entertainment tonight if I'm correct I haven't really been paying attention very often but um she is an entertainment host and I literally went to college thinking I was wanting to do that so I have always looked up to her and I just think she's awesome um I'm trying to think who else there's this TikTok famous couple I think her name's Christy Christy maybe I don't know I think they live in Houston so they were there and obviously all my influencer friends in Austin I was like very happy to see all of them um but I think I did tell you guys that I went alone and so I was kind of proud of myself for doing that but like honestly right when I got into my uber I like recognized some people so that was really really nice but very caught off guard that it was like that big of an event last night because I was just like not mentally prepared for that um but anyways just thought I would tell you guys that um I'm gonna go drive home I actually realized that the specific TikTok that I need to edit is actually on my computer. I usually edit on my CapCut app on my phone, but I think that one I just like randomly edited on my computer. I was like, amazing, the only one. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna head home and then I'm going to take Sophie to Zilker at 1 p.m. I put Sophie in her little carrier because I think Maddie's gonna bring her dog too. Um, we're gonna go to Zilker and take the pups out for a little run. And I felt so bad because I forgot Sophie's favorite ball at home and I literally put it on like the dresser to remember and I forgot it. But luckily I found two balls in the car. Thank God, I would have felt so bad. Um, but she loves that carrier. Mostly because I think she's like, scared that me and Ryan are gonna like abandon her whenever we bring it out because it just means like we're traveling because we always take her with us kind of like to the airport with it I don't even know I don't know why she likes it so much but maybe she feels safe in it what do you what do you say Sophie so me and Maddie just got to Zilker and there's like no one here not one person <laughs> this park is huge guys there's like nobody 
What the heck? Apparently, like, the parking lot was closed because they're having Zilker relays or something. I just found some prime par parking. Now. Oh, Sophie's pooping. Gotta clean that up. Louie, are you loving it? He's obsessed. <laughs> the city. We got a really nice shaded spot. Sophie, are you loving it? Are you loving it or are you hot? Both. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sophie. Here's Sophie's like, um, can you like go? Are the trees? <laughs> We're home from Zilker. I just gave Sophie a bath. Sophie! <sighs> so clean. One thing about me, if I get like a little bit sad, I tell myself I'm going to order myself sushi for dinner. And there's this place that I've been actually really, really wanting to try. I'm pretty sure you can only get it on Uber Eats and he's about to be here. It took about an hour to get here, but it's from this place called Salmony. Salmony? I don't even know how to pronounce it, um, but I'm gonna give you guys a sushi haul. So we got a lot of food. Don't judge. I really just wanted to try everything. But we got two rolls and then some nigiri. It looks so good. Oh, and then also some wasabi because I feel like I've just gotten into it recently. And I kind of wanted to put it like in my nigiri and eat it with that. Everything looks really good. I guess when you get takeout sushi, it's not as pretty, but it still looks amazing. I want to try the nigiri first. I love nigiri. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize like everything came with wasabi. I did not need that extra wasabi. Okay, well. Oh my god, it came with ginger too. What the heck? All of them did. I kind of was under the impression it didn't come with it, but okay. Let's try the toro first. I think I'll take a bite of it without weight. Is this a toro? so cheers i'm gonna dip it in some ponzu sauce it tastes so good though okay fun fact but also really sad fact i do not know how to use chopsticks i really try to learn but i swear i cannot get it down i literally need to go in for lessons because of how much i eat sushi i should know we've been outside watching the sunset i'm just getting a little bit of air before we both sit on the couch the whole night like little potatoes. <laughs> and Sophie were out there for a kind of long time and I was just like getting into my feels. <laughs> I feel like this whole day has been kind of an emotional roller coaster and I'm like I should check my birth control pack and see when my period is coming because I'm like, oh, why am I feeling all these feelings in one day? But I just was like looking at the city and was like, I am so, so grateful to have this life. I'm also just feeling so grateful for like my friends here that, you know, can keep me company while Ryan's gone and my parents and obviously ryan and honestly mostly sophie she just makes me honestly want to cry okay don't do it <laughs> she's not actually an emotional support animal but like holy shit, yeah she she is <laughs> she's my emotional support animal and i'm so glad that ryan didn't take her home because i knew i would need her with me i feel like this is so cringy but anyways I'm just very grateful right now. These are these are happy tears. I think we might watch a Netflix movie or something. Or maybe start a new Netflix series. Um, I'm like still watching the Echo show, but like honestly, I don't like to watch it at night because I get a little too scared <laughs> alone. So I don't think I'll put that on because it's a like eerie show. And I think with all these emotions, I might need like something funny and i need like a replacement for never have i ever because it was just like my funny like feel good show and a lot of people have said like try watching the office because obviously mindy kaling apparently helped write both or something but i low-key refused to watch the office because ryan had a phase where he was obsessed and 
I like watched like an episode or two and I just like literally did not understand how it was funny. So I don't, I just don't know if it's like my humor. Like, I don't know if I like get their jokes. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any like feel good, like comedy, just fun shows, let me know. But I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, just a few days in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys aren't already following me on Instagram and TikTok, go ahead and do so. It's so underscore gnarly without the G. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.